Word cell is a slang term combining the terms word and incel that is used to describe someone who has a high verbal literacy and is good with words, but is also somewhat disconnected from reality because of this. Word sales feel inadequately compensated and appreciated for their skills. Online, journalists are often presented as the prime example of a word cell. In contrast, shape rotator is a slang term used to describe someone with high visuospatial skill that's more talented in mathematics, STEM, and physical fields than literacy-based fields. They're portrayed as the opposite of word cells, and some famous examples of shape rotators include Nikola Tesla and Da Vinci. In early 2021, Arguments began popping up on Twitter about the ability to rotate a shape in your head. Some believe that people who can do so have a generally higher IQ, while others believe that meant nothing at all, ultimately culminating in lots of arguments and jokes about rotating a cow in your mind for entertainment. In October 2021, Twitter user and ship poster Rune, a machine learning researcher, got into an argument with Twitter user Logo Daedalus after telling him he's never rotated a shape in his life, resulting in a heated response full of wordy technical technical jargon. In response to the argument, Rune officially coined the term word cell to describe Daedalus. Two months later in December, Rune posted a slang overloaded tweet about crypto bros that would spread the term to the mainstream, writing, Deep learning versus crypto is a clear divide of rotators versus word cells. Although he did popularize the term, word cell was first used on 4chan in 2019 in a similar manner, although it's unclear if Rune saw the term there first. The tweet inspired users to take sides as arguments and memes about word cells versus shape rotators took off on Twitter, many simply confused about what it all meant. In January, Mel Magazine wrote a piece about the terms, likening them to incel culture and popularizing math cell and number cell as synonyms for shape rotators. On February 2nd, entrepreneur Mark Andreessen tweeted that word cells often win head-to-head -head fights with shape rotators because shape rotators spend 90% of their time rotating shapes and only 10% word selling. Word cells, word sell 24-7. This inspired the psychologist Jordan Peterson to quote tweet the post, writing, Goodbye STEM under the word cell woke onslaught, essentially boiling the terms down to their broad political connotations. Word cell representing woke culture and people who choose liberal arts related professions like journalism and shape rotator representing those who study STEM related fields. Peterson's addition to the discourse inspired an onslaught of memes calling him a word cell, using wordy diagrams and sections of his work as evidence. That same day, Rune posted a Substack blog describing the origins of the terms in great detail. In the post, he defines word cell in his own words, stating that verbally gifted writers and speakers often struggle when it comes to accomplishing practical tasks. They excel in fields like English, but are terrible at physics. He also paints a detailed picture of a shape rotator and why they might feel inadequately compensated for their knowledge. Vice published an article on the word cell versus shape rotator discourse days later, where they chalked the whole thing down to the classic argument of science versus the humanities. They also take a particular focus on the cell suffix and the negative connotations that come with it, concluding that shape rotators have won a victory simply for choosing the name word cell for their opponents, as onlookers are less likely to side with a cell thanks to the term incel. Ultimately, none of this discourse is meant to be taken too literally, despite how serious it all may sound. Rune emphasizes this in his Substack post, encouraging people to explore the ideas with an open mind and reminding everyone constantly that he's a shit poster at the end of the day. The word cell versus shape rotator discourse is ongoing on Twitter and Rune is now selling merchandise to capitalize on the meme.